Hey guys, it's Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're up here in Blacksburg today, getting ready to serve up some beers. The Brew Dude 2012. Speaking of beer, let's go see what's in the fridge. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer comes from Wildbacker. This is their Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Ale brew with pumpkin and spices, cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, cardamom, and cloves. 8% alcohol by volume. So this is a bigger one guys. It's a, this one will get you there in a hurry. I don't see anything, any kind of dating on the label. I'm pretty sure it's this year's beer. There may be something digitized on the bottle. I'm not sure. It's got a lot of condensation on it right now. We will see. We shall see. This beer is brewed by Weyerbacher. It is there out of Eastern Pennsylvania, guys. This is an 8% beer, like I said. Pumpkin ale, fall availability, food pairing. It says dessert, and the meat is poultry. This goes good with all your pumpkin pies and turkey and uh, your, your typical uh, Thanksgiving uh, dinners. Uh, this is a semi spicy beer, so it's going to go with a whole lot of dishes. Uh, very, uh, shall I say, neutral type, type beer. So uh, drink it accordingly. And it's an imperial beer, so it's seven and uh, eight percent beer. And it's going to keep, but I think some of the spices will diminish over time. So, uh, like I said, it's not going to go bad. Uh, next year it's, it's going to be good but it won't taste quite the same as it does this year so that being said we're going to use a pump well, we're going to use you can use a pint glass the becker the nonic the tumbler the stein the mug this being an eight percent beer i'm going to get the uh, duple glass guys and pour it into that instead of the pint glass i think it will enhance the aromas a little bit and the beer like i said it's not recommended for extended salary but it's eight percent it will keep but I'm sure some of these nutmeg and, and cinnamon and, and some of those spices will diminish over time. So, I could be wrong. Just my opinion, guys. Let's get it in the glass. I'm going to pour this kind of aggressive. See what we get. Wow, I can smell the cinnamon from here. <laughs> wow, very strong smell from there. Wow. Over to the light. It has got a very cold, I can see the bulk to it, but it is not clear. It has a cloudiness to it. Cannot see the camera through there. Very orangey, almost to the burnt bronze color. Looks very appealing in the glass, very pumpkin-y in the glass. Super aggressive pour, zero head basically. And there are some bubbles streaming up. I really can't tell if it's super carbonated. It's a kind of a dingy looking color, but let's get a nose on it, see what it smells like. Yeah, a lot of cinnamon and nutmeg, just like it says on the bottle. They're not lying. Cinnamon, nutmeg. I don't exactly know what cardamom is supposed to smell like, but it's in there. <laughs> And clothes, and of course there's a pumpkin in there too. I don't know what the ratio is, pumpkin as to spices or, or the pulp there, but... Got a very pleasant smell. Not getting any alcohol now that it's, it's just fresh out of the fridge, 40 degrees. Well, I'm drilling here. Cheers, everybody. alcohol is there in the taste. I'm getting a little bit of the alcohol in there. Cinnamon. You definitely tell this is an imperial by the taste. It's a sweeter, heavier taste. 
And I am getting a little bit of that buttery taste that I got from the pumpkin last year when I did it. Not to the point where, to me it tasted like, a lot of people love that beer and it just did not do much for me. It tasted like stale buttery popcorn last year when I did it. And I've had some comments from people say, oh, last year's wasn't as good as it normally is. And I'm going to try to get another bottle this year and re-review it. But it just did not do anything for me at all. I guess the, uh, the, expe the expectations were higher than the actual taste was. And this, and then I've heard of some people say that this may be the second in line to that the pumpkin would be the, would be this beer would be second in line. And it just doesn't taste anything like that. I am getting a little bit of the butteriness, but not to that extent. The alcohol is just way more present on the taste than I was expecting it to be. It's not hitting very well here, so kind of disappointed in that, but the nutmeg is there and the cinnamon and the pumpkin, but the alcohol is too, so I'm afraid it's just going to get worse as it warms up, so that's what we're going to let happen, so I'll be right back when we do the final chill. All right, guys, I'm back. This is definitely an imperial. The alcohol is definitely not hitting now. That is the biggest deterrent to this beer. Even though it says Imperial on the label, and you should know what to expect, it is not hidden in this beer. I could taste it when it was cold out of the fridge, and I can definitely taste it now that it's warm. A lot of nutmeg, cinnamon, spices, pumpkin. Not, not what I was expecting, but pleasantly surprised. Final chug, guys. A really great beer. The biggest deterrent to this is the alcohol taste. It is not hidden. I think they could do a better job of that. That is the biggest criticism I can see that I would say to this. Definitely better than most. It would probably be in the top ten list as far as pumpkins, but not blown away with this beer. I'm, re I'm really not. I don't, I'm not going to give it an A. Uh, I'm going to give it a 7, which is a B plus. I think it was a, a decent beer, but the alcohol was definitely more present than I would have liked it to be. Uh, I think they could do a better job than that uh, at, at brewing a beer of only 8% and have that much alcohol taste to it. So That's the only thing bad I can say about it. It's a really tasty beer. Not something I would take out and want to drink every day. But uh, a six pack of this in the season would probably do me one every couple of weeks uh, or so. So, uh, guys, that being said, give me some comments back on this one. Rate Beer has it at 96 overall and 98 in the style. So, there was a lot of people blown away there with having marks that high. And uh, Beer Advocate comes in with their 88. So, I think it's just, well, that's, that's pretty damn close. I, I'm more in line with those with that grade than I am with the 96 and the 98 that Great Beer is giving on this one. So, guys, give me some comments back on this one. Liked it, loved it. Uh, I, I liked it, I didn't love it. So, with that being said, give me some comments back. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's look at the fridge tomorrow. Join me then. See y'all.